Hi, Blair here with MXM. We've been talking about how to improve the member experience. And oh, by the way, that'll improve your net promoter score, but focus on the member experience. Uh, the inputs of that are all of the innovations and incremental improvements you do to all your processes, policies, people practices, programs, etc. Uh, we've been talking about our member experience manual uh, because this is our Bible in our club operations. Um, and I've been talking about some of the things that we give our front lines so that they can kind of be free to create. Right? We want to make sure we're engaging their uh, heads and hearts so that they kind of create a great member experience in the moment and be agile in doing that so that the idea here is that you customize the experience for every member that comes in. And yes, you can do that uh, given the right sort of institutional logic. And I've been talking about our freedoms and obligations. We have nine of them. Uh, we talked about the first one. I'm just trying to give context in case you haven't seen all of them. The first one is feel free to do whatever you want to make the member happy. Uh, you're obligated to stay within our principles and values. Two was um, you're free to challenge any process, policy, uh, or system, but you're obligated to use the ones that we have. In other words, if you challenge it and have an improvement and we adopt it, that becomes our new system. Number three is about helping, and you're free to ask for help. So if you're overwhelmed in your job, if you're not sure what to do, you are absolutely free to ask for help. You're obligated to help others. Now that seems obvious, but I want you to think of these in the context of bringing them to life in management and leadership and how much that helps when you can sit down with somebody and talk to them about each freedom and obligation and just sit down and say, okay, in that scenario, what we're finding is you ask for a lot of help, but you don't provide a lot of help. And sometimes that might be um, covering other shifts, right? I mean, uh, you, you might have those scenarios where somebody uh, asks for a lot of shift coverage, but when it comes time for them to cover somebody else's shift, that it doesn't happen a lot, you pull out your freedoms and obligation values and you're gonna find that most coaching opportunities uh, live within those. We have nine of these, we'll roll through each of them. Uh, we also have a lot more documentation on these when we're actually uh, training on it. That's it for now. This is all about uh, how to improve the member experience. A lot of it is about um, really uh, how much uh, freedom you can give your front lines to be creative and to craft a great member experience for every single person that comes in. That's it, our uh, reopen feedback system is free, available to anybody in the industry, go to mxmetrics.com. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.